What is up, peeps? Jenny Raw, Real Unfiltered, back at it. It is Wednesday. Um, time is about 1 p.m. Chicago time. And because it's Wednesday, you know I had to come at y'all with some Wednesday wisdom. So I was just sitting here uh, thinking about some things, as I always do. And, <coughs> excuse me, allergies are bugging. This weather makes me super sleepy and just... Anywho, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about reciprocity and are you a giver or are you a taker? Now, ordinarily, I would I would think if someone asked me that question, are you a giver or are you a taker? I would I would veer towards I'm a giver because I love to give. I love to give. I love to, um, you know, appease. I'm a pleaser. Um, and if you follow me, you know that about me. And if you don't follow me, you should. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Jenny Raw, real unfiltered. Please feel free to share. But the more I started to think about it, which kind of prompted me to make this video, um, I realized that I am both. I'm a giver and I'm a taker. And I realized that there are a lot of people out there that tend to be one more so than the other. Some are more givers, some are more to takers. Some will tend to take more and give less and some will give more and take less. Um, and I'm not here to tell anyone if, you know, one is more right versus the other. I'm not telling you it's better to be a giver than a taker. It's better to be a taker than a giver. What I think though, in my thoughts of realizing that I tend to be both, I think that as with many things, um, it's all about balance. So I tend to give a lot. I tend to want to, like I said, please people, appease people, you know, want to make sure people are happy, want to make sure they're cared for, they're okay. Um, so I give a lot of my time and my thought and, um, you know, just it comes from my heart. So I tend to give a lot. But in the same way that I give, I think that it's only natural that I take at times. Because if you sit there and you give, 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 at some point you need to be on the receiving end. You need to take. You need to replenish from what you've given. So it's only natural for me, and I would imagine other people, being that I give a lot, I need to take. So sometimes there are days where I might not have as much to offer and give someone, but I might take what they have to offer me. So instead of giving wisdom, I might take it. Instead of giving advice, I might need advice that day. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I think in fairness, we should try to strive for a balance. So when we are giving, we might feel more content with taking. And when we are taking from somebody, their advice, their opinion, you know, their wisdom, their time, when we're taking, we might better receive it and be able to come to terms with taking because we know that we've given. I hope y'all are following me here because I know what I'm trying to say, but hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. It's important in my opinion 
to be able to, to have some of it, somewhat of a balance. Because if you're constantly giving, you need, again, to know how to receive and be able to replenish what it is you've given. Same with taking. It's okay to take from people as long as you have something to offer. You have to be able to give something in order to take something. And this kind of leads me to, you know, my feelings on reciprocity. I've talked about reciprocity before. Reciprocity, you know, I don't know the specific definition, if you will, but reciprocity, in my opinion, is kind of like if, you know, well, let's use the give and take example. If you're going to take, then you should give back. If you're going to give, then you should be able to take back. So let's say, for example, I'm, I'm very big on, you know, and I, and I talked about this, you know, too before. I'm very big on you should never have to beg for someone's, you know, attention or time. You should never have to beg to be in a relationship, whether it be with, you know, a friend, a friendship or in a relationship with, you know, a sibling, a parent, a significant other. You should never have to beg to be content in that type of relationship. It should be um, reciprocated. If someone's not giving you their attention, but you're giving, you find there's, you know, yourself constantly giving them yours, there's no reciprocity there. You should be able to receive as much, much attention as you give. If you're in a relationship, whether it be, again, a friend, a significant other, you know, a family member, and you constantly find yourself available and, and there for them, but yet when you're in that time of need and you, they're nowhere to be seen and nowhere around, that's not reciprocity. You should be able to meet each other halfway so you don't get burnout in the relationship and think that you're constantly the one making the effort and the other person is just kind of sitting pretty knowing that you're going to be there, yet when you need them, they're not there. So reciprocity, in my opinion, is huge, you know? It's, it's a balance. Who wants to be in a relationship of any sort with somebody when they feel like they're constantly giving, giving, giving and are never there to receive? So you see how this kind of all flows, peeps? The giving and the taking. And then the reciprocity. It's super, super important, in my opinion, you should never have to beg anyone to be an equal in a relationship. If you feel like it's not being reciprocated, then what's the point? You know, that's a huge sign for me if I'm, you know, in a relationship with someone, like I said, be it a friend, family member, you know, my husband and I, we are on point. Sure, we have our ups and downs, and there's some days where I might take more and he might give, and there's other days where I might give more and he might take. But at the end of the day, I know I'm in it for the long haul, as is he, because we have that balance. We have that reciprocity, you know? If I need him to be there for me and I need to, you know, have him receive me or... You know, I need a certain amount of attention from him for whatever reason. He's there for me. And then the same goes for me. You know, I reciprocate that. I'm there for him when he needs me. I cannot be in a relationship. Like, for me, that's where I draw the line. When I feel like I'm, you know, in a relationship with someone, a friend, and I feel like I'm constantly the one picking up the phone to call them. I'm constantly the one checking up to make sure they're okay. I'm constantly the one, you know, offering my 
you know, time, my attention, you know, my wisdom, whatever it is. The point is, peeps, you don't want to be in a position ever where you feel like you're constantly the one that's giving or and or constantly the one that's taking. It's got to be halfway. It's got to be equal. There's got to be balance. Because without the balance and without meeting, you know, each other in the middle and without the reciprocity, someone's always going to feel like they get the short end of the stick. I don't care how much of a giver you are and how much you love, you know, pleasing people. Like I said, I'm a pleaser. I'm a giver. I love making people happy. I love, you know, putting a smile on people's face, whatever I need to do to do that. But no matter how much I might enjoy that and pleasing people and giving at some point, I'm going to want it in return. It's so important. You know, you don't want to get burnt out on constantly being on one end versus the other. That's why, like with almost anything, you need balance. That's why I struggled with addiction. Because there was no moderation or balance. It was all or nothing for me. 202 days today. Whoop, whoop. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no pills, no weed. Yeah. But I only bring that up because th the balance wasn't a possibility for me. That's why I do nothing and I'm sober. If I could, you know, incorporate moderation and I could just, you know, have a drink once in a while or smoke once in a while or pop my you know, pills once in a while, then it, I would imagine it wouldn't be such an issue. That's why people struggle with addiction. Because they can't find a balance or a moderation is probably the better word, but you catch my drift, hopefully. So ask yourself that question. Are you a giver or are you a taker? Or, like myself, do you find that you're both? Can you genuinely say that you have a balance where you give just as much as you take and you take as much as you give? Is there reciprocity there? In your relationships with other people, are you able to give what you receive? And are you able to receive what you give? So just some food for thought, peeps, on this Wednesday. I like Wednesday wisdom videos because I don't know I'm a thinker you know if I could I wish I could take y'all in like my mind and just see where my mind goes because it's like up down all around hence the overthinker in me but um, I was just thinking about that and I was just curious and kind of just wanted to give my two cents on that um, I feel like either you're one or the other or you're both so, but my point is not judging, not saying one is better than the other, but I think at the end of the day to be content, you need to strive for some balance. Some reciprocity. Y'all have a great rest of your Wednesday. Um, make a count, stay up, and... That's really it. Have a good day. Once again, 202 days sober. Whoop, whoop. And I'll see you tomorrow for 203. Yeah. Have a good day, peeps. Jenny Raw, Real Unfiltered. Please subscribe if you have not. Please make sure you hit the like button. It's much appreciated. And last but not least, that notification bell on my page. Make sure you click it and select all. That way you see or receive notifications so you can peep all my live streams and my videos. Always a good time. Peace.